left. So yeah. initially we will like our aim is to define or design this geometry. So what I'm thinking is today we first start with the, some examples. We will play with some examples or uh, check some of the basic examples of uh, geometry definition. And then we will uh, go through the documentation from Topaz and later in the third part, we will define or check our defined geometry like the one I have designed. And we will check each and each and every component of it. OK, okay. so this way we'll get an idea about the geometry definition. In Topaz. So let's get started. Uh, where is Topaz? Yeah. Topaz, Topaz, Topaz examples. Yeah, and let's go with the basics. So, terminal. Yeah. So, there are many basic examples. So, yeah. So, I tried looking at the basic examples, mm -hmm. but I think my problem is with how to run them. Ah, okay, so we will check. Let's start with the one box. It's the most yeah. basic example they have. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we will check. Oh, first, we'll check this one. And uh, then one box rotated and translated. And mm -hmm. uh, then we'll talk about parallel worlds. Okay, okay. so sure. we will check these four uh, examples today. Uh, okay. okay. So first, let's me open one box. So we will analyze line by line. So mm -hmm. see, first we should check like what is what is where. So here you see GE, it is geometry. for geometry. Yep. GR, it is for graphics. Graphics. And TS, it is the topaz. Score. It's it's not topaz topaz. Yes, it's Passable. topaz variables or topaz environment variables uh, setting. Mm -hmm. And pH is the physics list. OK. Yeah. And now let's see what like uh, these you can keep. Uh, you don't need to change these parameters and maybe you can uh, just copy and paste to each and every simulation uh, design or geometry you are going to simulate. You don't need to define your own. Uh, mm -hmm. Even uh, like maybe you will require to see particular electron photon separately. In that case, you may uh, want to design your own uh, uh, graphic simulator parameters. Otherwise, uh, 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 graphical user interface parameters. Otherwise, you don't need to do it. OK. Yeah. So let's see about what they have done for, uh, provided for in the example of uh, one box. So initially they define the type. Type mm -hmm. means uh, which type of uh, geometry it is using. So let me first uh, go through this, I think. So if we go to the uh, geometry components yeah. and uh, let's see the basic yeah. placement components. No, we will. We want to check the basic uh, introduction. So it says how it is defined like type and translation rotation. But uh, there are like uh, uh, by basic uh, type, it means it is taking geometry from the, the uh, from the uh, library that is defined for uh, defined by that uh, gene for. OK, so where are the. Oh, I saw this last time. Let me check it's not here. Yeah. Probably it's coming. Yes. So these are kind of like generic components uh, that uh, Gint4 has already uh, defined, like uh, a box, like a hemisphere, sphere, 
something like cylindrical or ring, uh, you can call mm -hmm. it shell. So actually, these are already defined uh, in GN4, and Topaz has uh, given them some names. So when you get to type, so like there is a type for box, so they, you put TS box. Mm -hmm. There is, if you define sphere, it is TS sphere. Okay. Yeah. And then you have, cylinder. Yes, exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you have like to define your material, what your what your material or your box contains. So it is made up of uh, air, okay. and it's uh, like the world. Now comes the uh, concept of world. World is something like when you are performing any kind of experience, uh, ex any kind of experiment mm -hmm. in a treatment room or any room like. Uh, so that room is your world volume, right? Inside it, you are doing your experiment. So same is with the Topaz or Jint for they have a concept of world volume. World volume is the huge uh, box or huge uh, volume. It can be uh, generally it's actually it is just a uh, mm -hmm. cubicle or it can have different x, y, z values, but it's cuboidal or cubical. It is not spherical generally, and uh, it contains all your uh, geometries. So if you don't have like, um, it is automatically provided to you. So you don't need to define yourself, but if you want to control it, like we, I have done in our case, uh, because uh, you, it costs you computational, it requires computational resources. If you take very big, huge uh, world volume, means uh, your Monte Carlo code is going to simulate each and every electron or photon that uh, uh, is that gets uh, transported to the inside that volume. So you want to reduce the computational requirements or computational resources requirement. So you want to control uh, world volume. Like for instance, when you perform uh, a radiotherapy experiment, so you take a margin like, okay, uh, when you, let's say you, want, you are performing dosimetry on Linux, Linux. Mm -hmm. So what you do, you just add a, uh, 5 mm thickness slab over it and 5 mm thickness below it just to reduce the uh, scattering effect of scattered electrons, right? Yes. So similarly here, you can control the world volume to reduce the number of photons that are getting out. Like you keep a 2 mm or 3 mm margin, but not more than that because the, those photons may not be of your interest. You just want to see what is what energy is depositing in your uh, phantom. So any any other volume that is outside this phantom is, n is not of our interest, right? Yeah. So this is how like you can control your world volume, but uh, if you don't want to control it, Topaz automatically adjusts its uh, parameters and you don't need to worry. It. So you can go both way. Either you accept what uh, Topaz provides or you design your own. Okay. Okay. I will show you that I have uh, controlled these parameters in our example that we are taking in our this workshop and uh, how you can do this. Then there is half length, like box has three dimensions. So X, mm -hmm. Y, and Z, length, breadth, and height. So, and here is a concept of half length. You don't define the complete half length. You define the half of the length. So it's half length in X direction, half length in Y direction, and half length in Z direction. Okay? Mm -hmm. And... Uh, now you see translation. So now your uh, box is in the world volume, like it is a huge box, and inside it you put your box, define your box, that name is my box, 
okay this ni my name box is the name that is given to that geometry and uh, then there is like translation rotation uh, that happens with respect to this world volume so if you put it zero 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 okay let me check sure so see i have added zero 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 okay so now this box will be in the center of our world volume so now is how to run and let me show you you do pwd okay pwd yeah. tells you how we are uh, yeah working directory so, yes so you see that here is topaz then you have to go two steps down one and two basics example and topaz so you go one this is a way to step down to the uh next uh step down to the directory yes and uh, two so now we are in the topaz directory because we step down two by two steps okay yes and then there is in topaz directory i show you um yes there is this bin folder and this bin folder contains the executable of topaz okay so yes. here we define uh, we step bound down by two we go in the bin directory we go to topaz so now we define what we want to execute okay, okay. okay. so this is the way and now you put a space okay and then you define mm -hmm. your geometry that you want to run 